Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, and welcome back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles. This is set two of Sudoku Tudes, and this is the Cages puzzle in this set. There'll be a link below to this puzzle, and what the cages mean, well, I'll get to that when I go through the rules, which I'll start right now. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And the cages mean that the digits in these cages may not repeat and must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So the digits in this cage um, must sum to 11 and they cannot repeat digits. So for example, while these digits must come, must need to get to 16, I cannot do it by just adding two sevens. That would break the rules of the cage. Um, they're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. This is supposed to be a fairly easy one. We'll see how we go. Let's give this a shot. So um, as you can see, this is following of some of my normal patterns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with another four, five, six. But I'm gonna just work through these cages because I don't remember how this one works. I know these digits need to sum to nine. So how can you do nine? Well, I could do one plus eight, but I can't use another one. Two plus seven could be done, but um, I can't put a two here. So it would have to be two plus seven, three plus six, but I couldn't put a six here or here. So I can't do three plus six at all because this Six sees both of those cells. So the other option is four plus five, and I can't put a five there, so it'd have to be four plus five. So they're the only options for getting to nine. So here, I need to get another 14 in this cage. So how could I do 14? I'm aiming for a larger digit, so I'm gonna start at nine and work down. I could do nine plus five, but I can't put five in either of these. So this has to be eight plus six, because the next option would be seven and seven, and seven, seven would be duplicating seven in the cage, and I've already said I can't do that. So this has to be six plus eight, and the six here means that this is eight and this is six, and I've already locked some digits in. So. In here, I'm aiming for 11 and I've already got a three. So these have to sum to eight. So getting to eight, I could use one seven and I think I could do that in either order. I could use two six um, and I would have to put the two here and the six here because I can't put two here or six here. I can't use three five because I've already got a three in the cage and I can't use four four because I can't repeat fours. So I think I get it to that. Okay, here I'm aiming for 11 and I've already got four, so I need another seven. I could use one six, but I can't put a six here, so it'd have to be one and six. I could use two five, but I can't put five here, so it would have to be two and five. Um, and I can't use three, four, because I've already got a four in the cage. Okay, that's a bit restricted, but not locked in. These digits have to sum to five because I'm aiming for 10 minus five. So again, I'm aiming for a lower digit. So if it was one, four, it would have to be one and four and two, three. Well, this digit can't be either two or three. So it can't be two or three. This would have to be one and four. And the one here means this is five. So I'm at nine and I need another two. Um, okay. And that means two is in one of those two by Sudoku. Not really knocking everything out yet. So let's keep going. These digits have to sum to nine, which is 15 minus six. I could use one, I can't use one eight because I can't put one in either of those cells. Two seven, I can't put seven in either of those cells. I can't use three six because there's already a six in the cage. The, the nine here must be four five. So this is the five and this is the four. The four looks back making this the seven. These sum to eight, so this has to be the two. The seven comes out of here. These were summing to eight, so that takes the one out of here. Okay, making some progress. These have to, I'm just working along the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. May not be the most efficient way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it because I'm having fun. Um, these have to sum to 12. So I could do nine, three, and I think that could be in any order. Eight, four, well, I can't put four in either of them, so that doesn't work. I can't do seven, five, I can't do six, six. So this has to be three, nine, but I can't see how to resolve the order. Now, 12 minus eight, these have to sum to four. The only way to do that is one and three because um, the next option would be two, two, and that doesn't work. So it has to be one and three. This one is saying that can't be the one. So that's a one, that's a three. The three makes that the nine, which makes that the three. Okay, getting some resolution. This 17, 
is 17 minus 9. These have to sum to 8. 1, 7 doesn't work because I can't put 1 in any of them. Um, 2, 8. Sorry, 2, 6. Well, the 2 couldn't be there, so I'd have to go 2 and 6, which looks okay. 3, 5. Well, I can't put 3 there, and I can't put 5 there. So 3, 5 doesn't work, and 4, 4 doesn't work. This would have to be 2 and 6. And now this is down to a triple, but I'm going to keep working through the cages because I'm having fun doing that. So these have to sum to 11 because it's 15 minus 4. 9, 2 doesn't work because I can't put 9 or 2 here. 8, 3 um, would be 8 here and 3 here. 7, 4 doesn't work. And 5, 6, would this can't be 5 or 6. Um, I can't put 5 or 6 here, so I can't do 6, 5. So this has to be 3 and 8. These digits have to sum to 10. So 1, 9 would be 1 here and 9 here. 2, 8 would be... No, I can't do 2, 8 because neither of them can be 8. 3, 7 doesn't work because neither of them can be 3. Um, 4, 6 would have to be 6 here with 4 here. And I think that works. Oh, no, it doesn't. So this has to be 1 and 9. Cool. So now let's do this last cage and see if I can lock it in. So these have to sum to 9 because it's 15 minus 6. 1, 8, I can't put 1 in either of them. 2, 7 would have to be... No, I can't put either 2 or 7 in that cell. 3, 6 doesn't work. So this has to be 4, 5. 4, 5. And the 5 means that's the 4 and that's the 5. And we get to this. So it's time to do some Sudoku, I expect. So what are these three digits? I've got one. I need two, four, and eight. The four and the eight look up, making that the two. And this becomes a four, eight. The four looks down, making that the eight and that the four. The two looks up, making that the seven. So these sum to 10, and this has to be the one. This is now the two by Sudoku. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, these are eight and nine. What are these three digits? One, two, three, seven and nine. Well, the eight, nine takes the nine out of there. The three and the seven actually makes that nine and I can take the nine out of there. The three looks up making that the seven and that the three. What are these three digits? One, five and six. The one and the six makes that the five, take the five out. The one looks down making that the six and that the one. What are these three digits? Five, six and seven. There's no 5 there, there's no 6 there. Well, that actually ran dry a little bit faster than I expected. What are these three digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 8, and 9. The 2 and the 8 means that's the 9, and I can take the 9 out of those. That run, runs a little dry. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7 go into those. There's no 3 there. The 4 and 7 makes that the 3, and that runs a little bit dry. So now I need to work on the corners. But let's work on these full columns first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are 3 and 7. The 7 looks across making that the 3 and that the 7. That takes 7 out of there but it's still not fully resolved. Let's look at row three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are three, eight, and nine, and there's no three there. So this is the eight, nine, and in the row, that must be the three. Cool. Um, where's the next full thing? Let's look at column three. I don't remember the order. I'm just trying to figure it out. One, two, three, four, six, and seven. So these are four, six, and seven. So this is a four, six. And this is six or seven. And the seven looks back, making that the six, which looks up, making that the four, which looks down, making that the seven, which makes that the four. But the six also looks into box eight, making that the five, which makes that the seven and that the six. Now, row seven is mostly full. I don't have a two or a seven. And the two is looking down, making that the seven, which makes that the two, which looks up, making that the eight, which makes that the two. The eight looks up, making that the nine, which makes that the eight, which makes that the nine. And I hate this pattern where I'm just left with the corners, but I'm it's the way this puzzle worked out. And I quite like the way the cage is resolved. One, two, three, four. I need to put a five in one of those two because of this five. But this five looks up saying not there. This is a five. I'll mark the triple. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and nine. There is no nine here. There is no six here. Uh, maybe I need to try another corner. So I need to put a one in one of those two. I need to put a six in one of those two. 
I need to put a seven in one of those two, which is overlapping the six. So this is a six, seven pair. This becomes the one, this becomes the eight. So that resolves quite cleanly. The eight looks back making that the six, which means this isn't the six. The six looks back making that the seven and that the six. And the eight, nine, I don't have yet. Down here, I still need to put a one in one of those two. I need to put a three in one of those two, but this three looks across saying not there. So this is the three. I need to put a four and the four can't be in any of those. So this is the four, which by pencil marks makes this the one and the digit I haven't placed is the five. Over here, I need to put a one, which has to be in one of those two, but the one looks down, so I put the one in the corner. This is a triple, which is two, eight, and nine. This nine takes nine out of all of those, so this becomes the nine. The nine looks up, making that the eight and that the nine, and the eight looks down, making that the two and that the eight, and that is how you solve Castillo by Brimster. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I liked the way the cages were just a simple play with each other. Um, as I said, these are Sudoku Tudes. These are supposed to be, for most part, um, an, a nice little journey. They do get harder as we move through each set, but I just want these to be nice, fun little exploration of the Sudoku constraints, and I'm really enjoying making them. I've made nearly a hundred of these now. I'm trickling them out. Hope you enjoyed the puzzle, and as always, Good luck with your solving.